What's up guys, it's Ed back again here and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of the Crystal Palace career mode here on FIFA 22. Today we have three more games and then we are going to be into the transfer window. So as always, leave your transfer suggestions down in the comment section below. I'll be looking at all of them and put together a big shortlist of everyone that's been recommended to me to sign for this save. Today we have Watford, Spurs, Norwich. Three more huge games in our relegation fight this season. Two games that we sh really should be winning. We sh really, really should be winning these. We should be getting six points from today's episode. And hopefully that can lift us out of the relegation zone because in the last episode, if you did miss it, we got a win. We got a big, big win away at Old Trafford against Manchester United and we got another win. So we took six points from the last episode which lifts us off the bottom of the table up to 19th. Three points from 17th. So hopefully we can do some closing in on them. We've done some more training obviously off camera and stuff like that. Um, but without any further, further ado, I'm, I'm going to stop rambling on and we're going to get into the first game of the episode, Watford at home. Let's do it. Okay, we've been informed that we might actually be losing six players. Kuyate, Ayu, Tompkins, Montez, Jack and Klein have all got contracts up. So I am going to have to sort these contracts out. Gallagher is someone that we really, really want to sign. Obviously, Crystal Palace in real life doing unbelievably well. Connor Gallagher being one of the main ports of call for Crystal Palace this season in terms of quality going forward. So we really want to sign him. Uh, don't whether we'll be able to, I'm not too sure. But... Klein and Ayu. I'm going to try and get Ayu on a little bit less. Two years on 40 grand a week. Can I get Klein on 32 grand a week important? Two years, okay. Kirkby, Kuyate. Do we try and get Kuyate on a big wage cut? I don't want him to be crucial. But who cares? We're not going to, he's not going to be crucial. Then James Tonkins. Has he played much this year? Only played three times. Been alright. 32 years of age. <clears throat> we'll see if we can get him on a really low grant. Lo really low wage. 20k? Nah. We're not going to pay 32k a week for him. Tompkins can go out. At the end of the season, we're not going to renew his contract. But we've got Watford away from home. Watford's line up. Ben Foster in goal. Hopefully he's making a vlog. Cathcart. Messina are the only notable defenders there. A turbo, decent little holding midfielder. Sissoko, Gosling, Semmer, and Emmanuel Dennis up top. Not the strongest lineup for Watford. Ishmael Asar on the bench, Charles Pedro on the bench, Ashley Fletcher on the bench. Not really the strongest lineup. We've gone for a slightly rotated lineup. Butland in goal, defence still the same apart from Ferguson comes in at left back just because our, we're tired. Our team is tired. Zaha's tired, Eze's tired. Edward's tired. They're all on the bench. Mateta, Slup, Hughes come in. Let's go and get three points and hopefully, you know, <laughs> get out of this relegation zone as soon as possible. Mateta, Hughes. Can you try and bounce it through? Mateta just can't get there. Slup, Hughes, Mateta, shot blocked. Mateta again, shot blocked again. Oof. Anderson does well. Just before half time, can we? Gallagher. Mateta. Saved. Saved by Ben Foster. Just. No, didn't even save it. Okay. Just a miss. Once again, we're calling on Edward and Zaha. Actually, I'm going to put Zahar at Cam, just because Will Hughes just has offered us nothing. I probably should have put Gallagher at Cam and then... Oh, no. Ishmael Asar. Offside, okay, thank God. Edward, Zahar. Gallagher, Zaha, Edward, Gallagher, from distance, scores, Conor Gallagher has been smashing it in real life and now he's smashing it in the career mode, 
finally we have a breakthrough. Finally we have a breakthrough. It's that Zaha and Edouard link up. Zaha's run which dragged the defence away. Open it up for Gallagher. And there's some fan is actually levitating in the crowd. It's a great finish. From the man on loan from Chelsea. It's his first goal of the season. And boy what a big goal that could be. Three more points would be lovely. Gallagher, Edouard, I know he's right, I know he's left footed, saved, saved again. <laughs> I think I said Edouard's right footed then, I, thought, I meant to say, I know he's left footed. Saved with Foster's feet, then the follow up was saved. And now Ishmael Asar's through, and now Semmer's through, sorry. Dennis messes up completely, huge. Zaha, Edouard this time, finishes the game and wins us three more valuable points. We've had to be decent today, we haven't had to be good. Watford didn't, didn't threaten us too much, but we had to be decent and we were decent. And that is three more huge points onto our tally. Zaha and Edouard changed the game, that's the quality we have. Three points, another clean sheet, another 2 0 win. Big, big, big win. That result at United is huge now. Potentially a season changer. Probably is a season changer. We dominated the ball, we dominated the shots, we completed loads more passes. Three points, well and truly in the bag. That takes us level. That takes us level with Burnley. Our goal difference is not the worst anymore. We're joint worst with Watford. But that takes us level with 17th, only behind on goal difference. Spurs and Norwich still to play in this episode. Away at Spurs then, they go with Lloris, Emerson, Tanganga, Romero, Regulon. It's solid, solid defence with the midfield, again, solid. And then the attack is the most solid part. Son and Kane are the two danger men, of course. It's going to be a tough, tough game, this one. We are glad to welcome back our full-strength team. Butland in goal, a defence. Mitchell is back in at left-back. We need a left-back in, in the, the window, I think. Elise, Eze, Zaha, Edouard. Back to full strength, back to full fitness. Back-to-back -back wins? Who knows? Can't see. <laughs> Come on, on the counter. Get going, Eze, lad. Oh my God, Eze. Off the post. I do not believe it, Jeff. Penalty. Penalty. Oh my God. We've got a penalty. Who, who is our taker? I don't know. Milivo oh yeah, of course, Milivojevic. Please, if there's ever a time. If there was ever a time to get a penalty right, it was then. And I've not done it. I've absolutely messed that up. Don't know what I was even doing then. Zaha is such a good ball carrier. It's incredible. Oh no, we've been done. We've been done on the counter. It's a classic Nuno goal. I assume Nuno's <laughs> the, uh, still the manager in this. It's been done on the counter. I was gonna take him out and take the red card. I was gonna take the red card and, and completely wipe him out, but we, Saw what it did to Manchester United in the last episode. Oh, Bergwijn. Almost incredible and then almost FIFA, FIFA 22 at its finest. It's 
Son, Kane, 2 0, game over. Ah, and a game where we should have had so much more. Eze should have scored, Milivojevic should have scored the penalty. First goal, we get caught on the counter attack. In a game where we should have had so much more, Harry Kane. It's only his fifth goal. Ah, oh, it's poor. Klein. Elise. Edouard. Across for Eze. Do we have a way back into this game? A breach is a 77th minute. Gets us a goal back. Do we have a way back? Do we have a way back? Do we have one more goal in us? Come on. Win that ball. Eze. Edward. Oh no, what a save. No. We lose 2-1 at Spurs. We only like flicked into gear in the last, last half an hour. We had chances, we had chances, but we've had to rotate quite a lot. Butland still in goal. Ward, Kiate, Tompkins, Ferguson completely changed back line apart from Ferguson. Gallagher, Reedveld, Ayu, Eze, Zaha and Venteke, yeah. This is the big one. This really is the big one. Norwich City. We should, we should be beating them. Oh, Kuyate. I was expecting him to swing round and get the ball, not chop his man. At least Malou. Oh, and when that ball, unbelievable from J.R. Reedvel. I don't think Benteke is going to work up front, I ain't going to lie. Just doesn't fit the style of play. We're trying to play a counter attacking style of play, and we got Christian Benteke with his 50 pace up front. Are you please? Please. Thank you. Jordan are you finally breaks the deadlock. <laughs> 12 minutes from time, we finally finally finally. We've been so bad today. Been awful. We win against Norwich. Six points again from this episode. A very, very good episode. We should have got more against Spurs. We should have got a point against Spurs. But the six points, is that enough to take us out of the relegation zone? I should hope so. It is up to 16th now with 18 games to play. We are out of the relegation zone and looking upwards instead of downwards, which is good. Arsenal in 12th. Jesus, City in. City and Chelsea in ninth and eighth. Wow. We don't care about that. We, all we care about is winning. And winning is what we've done a lot this month. The January transfer window is open now. So let me know your transfer suggestions down in the comment section below. I will try and sign as many as possible. Got £36 million to spend. Quite a lot of money. So hopefully we can boost this squad and finish mid-table. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a very nice rest of your day. Goodbye.